How do you think this environment kind of helps you with this heat and, yeah. and, and getting through this kind of practice? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, coming down here, we knew that that was going to be um, one of the aspects that we had to battle through, and I think it's, it's great for us to see to come out here and, um, you know, battle another form of adversity in the heat, and, and what they do is a little more up-tempo as well, so um, I think we're really getting good things out of these uh, practices we got. How do you keep the defense play? Yeah, I mean, obviously, there's always some good, some bad, but, you know, seeing things for the first time, um, you're seeing how guys can adjust on the fly and uh, truly how much, you know, we can we can play without getting looks and things like that. So, um, you know, always things that are correct, but some really good things as well. And just come out here and fighting from, you know, the first snap to the last and, um, you know, good effort and guys, you know, playing to the whistle. So some good things. A lot of completions against you guys. Was, was that a function of them getting, I guess, the ball out quickly? Mm -hmm. Or was it coverage? Yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, new looks and, and things like that and um, seeing a lot of, you know, window dressing and, and, you know, new things, which is really good for us. Um, so, yeah, I mean, some, some completions and things like that. But, um, you know, we're just here to get better. We're not, you know, keeping score like that. So um, it was a good day. How so, much J.J. emphasizes limiting explosive plays and how much speed they have at receiver? How mm -hmm. much does that play into, you know, a lot of the underneath stuff that they got, they got today? Yeah, I mean... You know, it's, it's a National Football League. Every team has explosive players, and, um, you know, they have, a, you know, obviously a really special one. But, um, you know, so it only challenges us. You know, we got, we got really good DBs, really good uh, cover backers. So that, you know, that seven-on-seven seven period is great for us to see things like that. And um, they have a really good play-action game as well. So, um, you know, obviously up front getting pressure all day. So it was, it was a good day. But obviously they have some things that make it more challenging. And, um, you know, we adapt and keep going. What is the style of defense you guys play, especially when you have overhang rushers? Mm -hmm. How much of an emphasis is there on the flats and making sure that they're they're kind of secured and patrolled? And is that difficult? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, they're playing you know the edge on the run and they're playing the flat as well. But we got some really you know talented guys on the edge that can do that, and um, they're only getting better as we go through camp. You know, for the first you know two weeks, just seeing things from our offense, they got a lot of good looks and. Um, you come out here and they're getting even more work with it. So, um, like I said, it's only going to help us. And but we, you know, we got guys who can who can do it easily, and you, you see it out there every day. We've seen a lot of Reddick utilized in different ways, kind mm -hmm. of employed differently. Uh, do you expect that to continue? And why do you think he's been able to, to get out there in so many different ways? Yeah, I mean, um, Haas is a guy who can who can rush well. He can cover. He can um, you know move in space. So. Um, having a guy like that that you can kind of move around and um, put in different looks and different formations and um, you know see how the O line you know counts him and things like that. So uh, he makes it more difficult and you know he makes it um, a little easier for us because he knows what he's doing as well. There's a lot on his plate, but he knows um, exactly where he's supposed to be. So he's a, he's been a vet since day one. So. You had to pick one guy on the team that's been the big season. <sighs> I mean, I got a lot. I got a lot. Um, I mean, I think our, our DBs in general, I think are, are a strong unit. And, um, if I had to pick one, you know, I think my guy uh, Epps has just been so consistent from from day one. And um, on offense, it's tough to pick on offense. You know, there's there's so many guys. I don't, I have no idea. The O line as a whole, receivers, running backs. So um, I'm I'm excited to see what happens. You mentioned the tempo, QJ. You mentioned uh, the tempo that makes it a little bit more difficult in this type of environment. Obviously, you guys aren't planning, but. How does it make the defense more difficult? How does it make it more difficult for you guys in this structure? I mean, it's like anything else. You know, you're, if you're going at a faster pace, but you're also got to be very focused and, um, you know, you got to be able to read your keys on the run and, and also when, when big plays happen, forget about them and get back on the ball and play the next snap. So um, it's like anything else. Nothing that, you know, we haven't seen before. It's just coming out here and executing it with, um, you know, a, a little different pieces and things like that, which I thought we did some good and we did some bad. So uh, that's how it goes in practice.